Hey everybody, iPhone you here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys what is on my iPod Touch 5th generation. I will make an in-depth review video of it later, so please subscribe so you guys can be notified when that is uploaded. Also, please comment, like, and favorite this video. Alright, so here I have my iPod Touch 5th generation, 32GB in blue. It does have a screen protector, that's why it's kind of, you know, scratched up right here, but if you don't have one, it looks really nice and really neat. Alright, so here we have my lock screen, and we have our quick camera feature here where you simply flick up, and it brings you to your camera for those times when you don't have enough time to slide to unlock and put in your passcode. So it's really practical, it helps me a lot. So, since I don't have a passcode, I press the home button and it brings me straight to my home screen. And here in my dock, I have Messages, Mail, Safari, Music. And then I have FaceTime, Calendar, Videos, and my Photography folder. Here I have Camera, Photos, Pick Stitch, which is a free application in which it stitches multiple pictures together into one picture. So you choose your layout. You have a lot. And for each box, you simply tap and choose your picture. Then you can edit and save it. And it's really cool. Here we have Pick Shop, which is one of the best photo editing apps that I have found. It's very simple and neat, but it has a lot of features. So you can either take or choose a picture. And it has, you know, you guys can see later on if you get the app. But one of my favorite features are the extras. Here, like for example, stickers, you have rage faces. So you can add it and you can, you know, adjust the size. And it's just really high quality and it's a really neat application that you guys should check out. Then I have Split Pick, which you can clone yourself or many other things. So you take two pictures and it puts it into one. Now the thing is you don't have to move your camera because then it'll look weird if you have like different background pictures. So for example, let me use this. Now this isn't one of the best examples, but it works. So here I'll take a picture of that. And then without moving my camera, I'll just move whatever I want to clone. And well, let me just kind of make it different. And then you take a picture of that. And I'll put it together into one. So it looks really nice. And it works great with people. Then I have CamWow, which is like a filter kind of photo booth app. And then I have this application right here, which is called Color Cap. And you write a little message. And it just puts it with the background if you don't want to put a picture you can use this so I guess it's pretty cool moving on I have maps weather passbook notes reminders clocks stocks newsstand iTunes App Store Game Center settings YouTube which is finally updated for the new screen size and also for the iPad and then I have my utilities folder here I have Contacts, Calculator, Voice Memos, Flashlight. Flashlight uses the backlight on your device as a flashlight. And you can choose like different amounts of like repetition. And you can change the intensity of the light. So you can change that. And then you can turn it off. So it's very practical. Then I have Dropbox, Pimp Your Screen, which is where I get most of my wallpapers. Uh, they're really high quality and it's really cool, so save it. It has a lot of neat stuff, so save, save. So that is Pimp Your Screen. And then I have iBooks, Find iPhone, Dragon Dictation, App Gratis, which is where I get most of my deals. I got Pick Shop from this and a couple others. And I like this app very much because it gives you great offers on apps that are actually like fun and useful. Not like those other applications that give you like a free app that no one wants. So this is their review of this application and I like this app a lot. And it shows you all the other apps they had with a deal and sometimes they'll give you like discounts on apps. So it's a really fun application to use because it gives you a lot of apps. Then I have uh, the free dictionary, I translate, Google Maps, free video which lets you download videos for free, and then Google which I mainly use for the goggles because that's just neat. Then I have my social folder with Facebook, Instagram, Skype, Snapchat, Echofon which is my Twitter client, Tumbleon which is my Tumblr client, Uvu, Cinemagram which a lot of people should 
actually like, but it's not that popular. I don't know why. But it's like Instagram, but with videos as well. So it's cool. Then I have text free, and then La La Land. This isn't an app. This is like a bookmark of my Tumblr page. So you guys can go ahead and follow me. It is live, love, dance again. .tumblr.com. I just, you know, reblog a lot of stuff mainly. But you guys can go ahead and follow me, and I usually follow back. So then I have I am Plus, which is, I use it mainly for talking to some of my family members who have a messenger. So there you go. And then my last folder on the first page is my music folder with Pandora, Soundhound, Vivo, OneTuner, which is a great app, which I also got from App Gratis for free. And you can go to any country in the world, and you can choose any language. So let's go to Bosnia. And then it'll give you the categories, and you can open up any radio station, and it starts playing. And it's really neat, and it doesn't have, like, you know, any glitches. So it works works really well. And then I have iHeartRadio Edging. It's kind of like a DJ kind of thing where you mix your music. And it's really fun. I got it for free as well. Uh, but you add your music and you can mix it. And it's cool. Then I have beginner guitar, which I mainly use for like the chords and stuff, which I kind of forget sometimes. Uh, so yeah. And then moving on to my next page. Here I have my school education folder, uh, which I have Quizlet, and I really recommend this. It's a website and also an app where you can have little study sets like flashcards that you can make or you can use flashcards that other people uploaded and it helps you study. I use this for AP World and it's part of my homework but you have your cards so it helps you study and you have learn which is kinda like a test and scatter which is matching and then there's a lot more features on the computer version. Then I have Schoology, which I use for school, AP World Reference, which I use for AP World, AP Exam Prep, which I also use for AP World, History, DK Quiz, and Trivium, all kind of help me with AP World. Then I have Booths. It all started when I downloaded the Stash one, and then they offered all the other ones, so I just got those and made a folder out of them. Then I have CNN ABC Player, which I mainly use for Modern Family because it's just hilarious and it works really well. So I'm just going to show you how it looks like. And it gives you the schedule and everything, so it's a pretty useful application. Then I have Zite and Flipboard, which are my like newspaper applications. You basically choose what you like to read and then it'll give you, you know, information based on those topics. Then I have iFunny, which is for funny pictures, Fruit Ninja, Jetpack Joyride, which is one of the first games I got, and because it was, you know, updated for the screen, and it works really well, and it looks, you know, good, so just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. So I have my little Santa suit on. But yeah, that's Jetpack Joyride. I made an app review of that. Tiny Wings also looks great on the iPod because it is updated for the screen and the colors are just really nice. Then I have Subway Surf, Cut the Rope Experiments, Cut the Rope Holiday Gift, World of Goo and Contra Jor are my iPad apps which I downloaded onto my iPod but they're not updated or anything. I don't know if they are going to but yeah. Then I have Whale Trail which is also fun to play and it is updated. It has bright colors. I believe I also made an app review of this so I'll just show you guys a little bit of this. But it's fun to play. Alright, so that's basically it. Let me die. Let me die. Okay. So that is World Trail. Then I have Amateur Surgeon 2, which is not updated. Doodle Jump, which is. Angry Birds finally updated their screen. I was really surprised when they hadn't at first, when a lot of other apps already did. But now they did, and it's fun to play. Then I have Temple Run, which is also updated. 
Then I have Tiny Tower, Monster Dash, which is not updated, Reckless Getaway, Storm and Teacup, which also aren't updated, and it really should be because this game is, you know, another game that has great colors and graphics, and if you guys look at the menu, you can already tell that it is really, you know, kind of with a lot of graphics. So, then I have Pocket God Uranus, or Uranus, however you want to say it which isn't, and then Are You Quick Enough 2, which also isn't updated. Fix It is a fun game. It's Fix It Felix, I believe, from the Wreck-It Ralph movie. And it's, it's, the style is kind of like arcadey, like from back in the day. But it's fun to play, and it is updated for the screen, so it takes advantage of it, and it looks really nice. So you move along and you kind of fix the windows. You try not to get hurt by the bricks that he throws down. And you just level up and you continue like that. So that is the game. Then I have Song Pop Free and then I have Icon Pop Quiz, which is one of my favorite games. If you guys know about Logos Quiz, this is a lot better than that. Especially the design of the icons and you know the whole app design is very well made. And it's just very modern. I really like it. So you guys can already tell from the menu. And you have different categories. And you just kind of guess from the icons that they give you. And yeah, it's really fun. Like, let me, I have a lot of wrong. But like, these were the Spice Girls up here. And it's just fun to play. And it gets harder and harder. So I usually Google stuff. Then I have Aerox, which is like Super Monkey Ball. It's basically the same thing, and it's so much fun. I'll do an app review on that later, because it takes a while. Coaster Crazy, you basically build roller coasters. It's kind of like, a, you know, you make your roller coaster, you own it, you earn all this money. But it does require internet. Then I have Quaqui, which is basically like Scrabble. Clay Jam, which is a very interesting application and game. I'll probably do a separate app review on that later. I have Parking Free, which is really fun to play although it's not updated it's fun to drive around then I have smash heat uh, this is really fun as well but it gets kind of hard you're basically like a cop you're basically a cop and you have these different missions but it's fun the way you control your car and you know you go through this little town or city and so in this case, other suspects are just trying to like kill me basically and damage my car. And I have to get to the goal before I, you know, die and stuff. So it's really fun. Um, but it's kind of annoying, this mission, because they keep on hitting me. But yeah, that's basically the game. I'll do an app review later on that. Then I have NBA, uh, NBA Jam Lite, which I like to play. It's really addictive. Basically play basketball. Reckless Racing 2, Flow Free, Ski Safari, this is one of my favorite games um, because, I don't know, it's just those endless runner games where you try to, you know, beat your last score and it's really fun, you get upgrades, you can buy things and the graphics are well made. So you ski and basically you jump and you can do flips. Here I'm starting off with an eagle that kind of helps me and then I can start doing flips. Oops, I landed that. So basically you just go along like this and you can get onto penguins and yetis which kind of help you advance and be faster. Basically an avalanche is coming after you so you kind of want to get away from it. So it's just a fun game and it's really addictive because it's an endless runner. So I will probably do an app review later on that. And then Cover Orange, which is a fun game. I've always played this since, like, my first iPhone. And it's a strategy game. You basically have to protect the oranges from the acid rain using the different things that they give you. So, where am I? I don't even know how to do so. Whatever. Uh, so I'm just going to try to do whatever. And then, you protect them. Ah. 
So yeah, that's kind of how the game goes. It's really fun. And then onto my last page, I have Interlocked, which is kind of like a strategy game where you have to get the pieces, you know, separated. Then I have Dog Sounds, which I kind of use. It doesn't really help at all, but I just have it. Scribble Knots, which is like a fun drawing game. Flick Soccer, for flicking soccer ball, trying to make a goal. Then I have Cube Runner, which is a really old game. I've always had this, and it's just fun to play. It's an endless runner. I kind of dodge all these blocks. Then I have Leps World 2, which is Mario. Basically like a Mario game, but with this guy, a leprechaun. Draw free. Draw something free, actually. Then I have Oven Break 2, which is just like the first Oven Break. If you guys remember that game, it used to be really popular. And now they came out with a second one. And... So you basically run and jump, and you try not to die. Oh, wrong one. I, I'm really bad at this game. So yeah. I'm gonna die right here, so... Alright, so that is Oven Break 2. Then I have Fruit Ninja Puss in Boots. And then my last game is King of Opera, which I showed you guys from App Gratis. And it is a really fun game. I will make an app review of this later on in the future when I have enough time. But it also emphasizes, you know, opera, which is actually really fun to listen to sometimes because of the way they sing. It's like, la, 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 la. And so this game is actually kind of confusing to play at first because the instructions aren't very clear. But you choose your tenor. And so I'm going to choose this green one because it's easy to press the button. And so the whole time, all they do is they spin. But when you press this button, it makes it go forward. So you have to knock each other out so you can be in the spotlight. And you guys will just have to see. Now I have the spotlight, see? And it's really hard sometimes because you're spinning and if you press the, bu the button at the wrong time, you might fall off the stage. <laughs> and if you're the one who knocks off the other out of the spotlight, then you're in the spotlight. And others will try to, you know, knock you off. Oop, I fell out on my own. I, I keep on falling. I'm really bad at this game, but it's so much fun. Come on, he's gonna knock me off. Now I'm in the spotlight. So whoever's the longest in the spotlight wins, and there's like three rounds or three acts. So you can get crowned king if you have like the most amount of time in the spotlight. I'm actually doing pretty good right now. But anyways, that's how the game goes. It's actually really long, so I can't show you guys the whole thing. But that is what is on my iPod Touch 5th generation. Don't forget to comment, like, favor, and subscribe. Comment if you guys want a specific app review, which I will try to make this break. So, happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Bye.